How is everyone doing Nomad here? In today's video I want to showcase to you an alpine build that I did. If you're into everything Sons of the Forest related, whether it be lore, guides, building tips and tricks, or massive builds like this, this is what this channel is all about. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and drop a like if you enjoy the video, but without further ado, let's get straight into it. So first and foremost when it comes to a build like this is location. I knew I wanted to do an alpine build, some kind of log resort style thing. And I knew I wanted it to be in the central of the map inside the snow. Well lo and behold, I did choose this location. If you guys don't know this location, this is one of the crash sites you can land on at the beginning of the game. I did not land here luckily during this playthrough so I was able to build here. This spot was perfect because it is at the base of a mountain which I thought was absolutely beautiful. There's not too many trees around. It's a pretty flat area. There's also a cliff overlooking the forest, so I thought it was super amazing. One of the hardest and longest parts of this build was doing the roof. Now, as we know, the strut system is beautiful in this game, and I didn't know too much about the building when I first came into this build, but I knew that this is what I really wanted to do when Sons of the Forest launched. I did a lot in the forest, did a lot of builds, and now this is what I wanted to do with this game. But I knew I had to learn, and it was a great learning experience doing a build like this. I learned so much. The longest thing that took me with this build is the roof, as you can probably tell. Now, not only did I have to get my struts right, I had to get placement right, as well as distance. Build had to be an even number width-wise in order to get this triangle that you guys see here. Now, when it came to placing struts, not only did I have to build a scaffolding to support the beams before placing the strut, but I also had to build a scaffolding so I could get up there, so it was very tedious and took a lot of work. Once I figured it out, it was fairly easy and straightforward. Now, there are things you may think you can't do, but let me tell you right now, there's so much that this building system offers and different ways to do things. Once I figured out it was fairly easy and straightforward that's how most of the building mechanics in this game are that literally your imagination is endless it may not seem like that at first but with tweaking and figuring out different dynamics of the building mechanic there is so much you can do and fix and change even with this build there's different things i would have done that would have made it not only easier for me to do this build it would have taken less time but in the end i would have been able to do more if i would have done these workarounds thing is you just need to figure out when and how to do them paneling alone for the roof took an absolutely large amount of time it consists of over 500 panels in total the main lodge is the heart of this build but i also decided to make a small simple little deck overlooking the cliffside as well as a small shed just for firewood I don't know, I thought it was nice and it looked aesthetic for the build. Now to move on to a funny aspect. I wanted to keep Kelvin and Virginia alive during this process just so I could see how they interacted with the build. First off, for some reason Calvin just randomly would appear or walk underneath the foundation of the house and he would get stuck there. He was just sitting there crouched. It happened numerous times. I had to remove the floor panels and part of the foundation in order to release him. Once he was released, a couple hours would go by and the fellow would just on back over there and i'm like what are you doing how are you getting caught like this? now virginia i love virginia i know most of us do but she on the other hand she followed me everywhere it was up in my face the whole time not only was this bad because she was in the way of building but she kept dying because logs would drop on her and i had to go down and revive her get off my scaffolding go revive her go back up start building and it kept happening over and over again and i'm like what are you doing why are you on this roof with me what is what is, thank you for the stick Thank you for the berries. I don't need them, but I appreciate it. One aspect of this build that is very minimal is the interior of the lodge. I didn't do much with it just due to the fact that there aren't a lot of interior decorations currently in the game. Yes, we do have beds and chairs and things like that, but I really wanted to do fireplaces, rock walls. I can't wait to implement all those things in future builds. I have so many builds planned for the future. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. It really helps me and the channel grow. If you're into everything Sons of the Forest, whether that be guides, lore, playthroughs, or insane builds like that, this is what the channel is about. So consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments of my first big build here in Sons of the Forest and what you want my next build to be. Should we do it in the forest? Should we do a beachside resort? Should we do a fishing village? I don't know. It's up to you guys. Let me know. And as always, stay happy, stay hyped, and have a beautiful day.